What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the information that was revealed basically during the live stream, the fifth anniversary live stream. Uh, I still have to go ahead and, and chop up that live reaction that I had of it. So I will be uploading it at some point. Just don't expect it anytime soon, but I will be uploading it eventually. Um, but they actually revealed some information during that stream kind of odd though because about an hour before the stream even started all of this information was actually already in game it was very odd i don't understand the reasoning behind it this information should have been revealed at news o'clock today however they just decided to reveal it literally before the actual live stream which was very strange very 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 strange um but we're going to be talking about the new update which features a brand new limit break mechanic which i have talked about extensively in previous videos which is the limit break plus is what i've been dubbing it as however they are calling it the limit break expansion which involves these brand new items which are keys that can be used to further limit break your characters so it says on february 18th is when this is all going to be live during the important information here you can see uh feb 18th at news o'clock time to feb 19th at uh 1 a.m so it's going to be a five uh, six hour maintenance so it's going to be quite an extensive maintenance so not really looking forward to that but look it's going to be a really cool update really hope that the maintenance is not extended but we'll have to wait and see but with 9.4 it says new functions for kizuna clash added new functions for characters which i don't know who that would be for potentially after this maintenance period we might get information relating to the anniversary sugo fest that i wouldn't put it past them to actually do that uh, also brushed up existing features and minor adjustments with ui and other minor fixes okay so minor adjustments to ui that could be relating to the sugo fest banner because i know that the sugo fest banner does change slightly with the way that it uh, shows the uh, the sugo fest structure so that could be potentially happening as well uh the game may be slow during this concentrated access right after the maintenance of course that's pretty self-explanatory but let's go ahead and talk about the limit break expansion first uh, before we get into the entire rest of the update so it says added limit break expansion to characters after the maintenance on feb 18 the following characters will be able to expand their limit break so in order to get these actual keys because i know a lot of people are going to ask about this in order to get these keys you actually have to play treasure map uh, and when you rank in a certain position you get given a certain amount of the golden keys the golden keys are used to max limit break or expand limit break on your level legends i don't know if that also counts for rare recruits because currently rare recruits do not get an expanded limit break further on down the line regular rare recruits will though there is also a blue key you can see the blue key right behind the gold key it's a little bit difficult to see but the blue key specifically is used for treasure map characters uh, and also you'll be able to get treasure map keys i believe for point rewards in the treasure map and i think for ranking as well i'm not 100 percent certain on that but basically you get them for playing treasure map in order to expand limit break keys you get yeah it says here you can get the guiding key on the treasure map and, and etc basically you get it by playing the treasure map so the first batch of characters this is the exact same first batch of characters that received an expanded limit break on japan first so it involves snake man luffy who does get some stat changes or basically all these characters get stat additions some of them get cooldown reduction and some of them do get buffed captain abilities which is very interesting so snake man and his pre-evolution obviously if it if a, if a six plus does get a buff limit break it does count for their regular six star version as well uh Bato and cavendish also get one uh legend blackbeard is pretty big because legend blackbeard um does get a buffed captain ability and he goes up to a 3.25 times captain that can bypass uh, the barriers and defensive effects which is very very good so i think a lot of people might opt to do that but honestly with the amount of times you're really going to be using blackbeard i wouldn't suggest it uh v1 doflamingo also gets one uh, no, I think that m Judgment of the Divine. I don't know which one that is. That might be that might be version one with the Super Evolution. I'm not 100% sure, certain about that. Marco the Phoenix gets one. Unfortunately, Marco doesn't get a buffed Captain ability. God Usopp uh, and also his Super Evolution. Roronor Azoro uh, being the V1 with his 6-star and 6-star plus. Uh, you've also got Sanji as well. You've got the... Uh, yeah, Secret Prince of Germany, which is V2 Sanji. Port Guards D Ace, which is the um, the 6+, plus, uh, you know, the original Ace. And he does also get a buffed Captain ability, going up to a 3.75 times Captain, I believe, if your shooter has a matching slot, which is actually pretty decent. And also, you've got the original version 1 Whitebeard, who also gets a buffed Limit Break. Unfortunately, he doesn't get a buffed Captain ability. And then for the Treasure Map characters, you have Whitebeard and you have Ace. Now, in my personal opinion, from looking at these Treasure Map 
about characters. I do believe that maxing the the limit break of the white beard is worth it. Main reason for that is, is he gets three turns of cooldown reduction, which means that if you are using him in other treasure maps, the fact that he has a lower cooldown means that you don't have to stall for his special, which whenever you use white beard on a treasure map, that's one of the big uh, big problems with that character is you have to stall a lot. So reducing his cooldown is going to be great. He does lots of damage that goes through barriers. So in my personal opinion, I do think white beard is worth it. I don't remember too much about what Ace does, um, but out of these characters, I would honestly start saving these keys, and then when you want to use a character and like you need to max the limit break, that's when you should do it. There aren't too many of these characters that I would just say, yeah, off the bat, 100% you have to do it. I don't think it's that crazy, but some of them down the line will be getting better and better as time goes on. So these are all of the characters that will be receiving an expanded limit break in the future, uh, with, after this update that is, so it's something to look forward to. But let's actually talk about the rest of the update here the 9.4.0 update so of course the uh, the brand new limit break expansion with the guiding keys so you will need them and that's what the 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 screen looks like also it was shown off in the uh, live stream that happened today uh, Nick actually went and, and showed us how the limit breaking actually works with the key um, also there's gonna be a Kazuna update so there is going to be a brand new support functionality so it says assist each other out to strengthen the bond between you and your friends and helpers so Kizuna support effect and activation rate will change depending on the Kizuna points and the Kizuna rank between you and the friend or helper captain. So every time you assist someone, I believe it will update the rank of that person. It says if you assist a friend or helper, clear the assist quest, you will gain Kizuna points with that friend or helper. And if you earn enough points, you'll get a Kizuna rank. So basically what it means is, is that the more you help out a certain person, the higher you're going to rank up with that person. And then the higher your rank, you actually get support for doing it. And what it means is, is that like you'll enter a quest and if you're supporting that person, you're going to get a stat boost at the start of that quest. So you can see this screen here, boost cruise base stats by 1.3 times. So that's going to be happening if you have a higher Kizuna rank with someone or a higher chance to get this Kizuna support. So that's going to just basically help you out with clearing content, clearing the Kizuna support. Unfortunately, it won't make your own teams for your own Kizuna runs be any stronger, but it just means the support runs will make your teams just a little bit stronger. So let's move on from that. There's a thank you as well. Send a thank you to earn more Kizuna points, which is pretty cool. So this is pretty big. Zero stamina until you clear the first time, which is going to be available on story mode, and it's going to be available on Extra Island. I think this is a fantastic update because some of the story mode missions, especially recently, are very, very difficult. Even Roger's base was streaming today. He was streaming some One Piece Treasure Cruise, and he was up to the Cracker story mode mission, and he literally kept doing it over and over again. He was, he was definitely having some struggles with it. It's one of the most difficult story mode missions in the game so if you have zero stamina cost for that i think that's a fantastic idea to make it just so if people are struggling with a specific adventure they can just keep clearing it over and over again without having to waste their stamina it's just a really good update another reason why this is really good is with whenever we get something that is global first and we don't even know what to expect heading into the dungeon this is great for that as we can spend no stamina as well as just gaining knowledge of the island and then people on social media can share it around it's especially good for someone like me as a content creator understanding what these dungeons do so it's a, it's a fantastic update to get zero stamina cost for whenever something comes out during extra island or world map and this does include coliseums and stuff like that as well which is just it's great it's a great update the next update is pertaining to treasure map now what this update is it is probably one of the most anticipated updates for treasure map that everyone has been waiting for it basically just increases the speed of animations throughout the treasure map so whenever you click on the uh, log pose it basically will instantly roll your number instead of having to wait for the for the actual spinning animation to occur so that is great it means that selecting your your number is just way faster also when the sunny moves across the map during the treasure map that is going to be increased in speed as well. So just making the runs during treasure map much, much faster, which means that if you're clearing it faster, you can get more runs in, which means you can rank up a little bit faster. So all in all, it's a fantastic treasure map update. And the one below that, send assist quest to different difficulties at the same time. I think this is a great, great idea. Um, though it, I'm not really too sure if this means that a person, if like I myself, if I'm supporting, if I can go ahead and assist someone who just did an ultimate difficulty, can then I go assist? you know the uh the master difficulty or the elite difficulty or does this mean that if i was unable to clear the ultimate difficulty i can send out a request for that one and then if i didn't clear the master difficulty i could send out a request for that one too 
I think that's maybe what it means. I'm not 100% certain about this one. There is more information here. There's a bunch of different information here. It says only certain characters will be able to expand their limit break. Obviously, that gets updated over time. More characters will be added, of course. The content of expanded limit break will vary for each character. That is definitely true. You can confirm the guiding keys you have by selecting crew, then limit break, and then select character and select available materials. If you do not have any character available for limit break, you will not be able to confirm your materials, obviously. Kizuna points and Kizuna rank will reset for each Kizuna Clash event. I would have preferred if it stayed that way. That means that you could go ahead and assist different people if you wanted to, to rank up their Kizuna ranking points and stuff like that. But okay, it is what it is. Both you and your friend or helper will earn Kizuna points when you when you uh, clear their quest, which is a really good idea. Uh, thank you can only be sent to your friend or helper who cleared your first assist quest. Makes sense. And Kizuna support will not be activated if you do not have Kizuna points with any of your friends or helpers. The Kizuna support effects may change for each Kizuna Clash event. That is actually interesting as well. So that means that potentially like Kizuna Clash getting, you know, these uh, rank ups, it's not that important. You know, base stats by 1.3 is decent and will give you definitely more, more damage. But potentially in the future, what if they did something like, you know, for 99 turns, you get like a three times attack boost or something like that. You know, just may maybe not that crazy, but potentially they could do something like where you get a buff for a, your entire duration of, of that particular Kizuna run. That would be a really good idea. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, of course. Zero stamina cost until first clear will be applied for the world map as we said and extra island excluding certain quests so i don't really know what they mean by certain quests but for a for majority of the events they're going to be zero stamina so that's all the information we have relating to the brand new update which is going to be coming on the 18th of february 1900 pst which is what we're waiting for uh well it says it's weird right because it said yeah, Feb 18. Yeah, so it's going to be... No, not, nine, 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 not 1900 PST, but that's going to be when the maintenance starts. So Feb 19 PST time is when we're going to get access to this. But uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of new support abilities as well. Uh, I'm not going to go through these in this video today, but there are a bunch of different support abilities. Maybe I might make a separate video about that, just discussing the important ones there, because support effects will be getting kind of crazy down the line. So uh, obviously it's good to talk about them as well, because we can identify which ones the uh, characters you want to save for but anyways that's all of the new information we have relating to the new update unfortunately they didn't actually reveal what's coming for the anniversary they did mention that it's going to be wana related they they did also mention that i guessed it they said the broski guessed it so it means that kaido is essentially confirmed for the anniversary which is good news um and we don't really know what other events are coming but we'll have to wait and see for that one and obviously when we do get information relating to the anniversary events i'll be bringing you guys information all about that but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video